backfeeding the root. Backfeeding the root is when you feed your filler rod from the inside of the pipe. Once you get the arc going, it's all about a tug of war between the filler rod and your puddle. You want to create something like a spider web between your filler rod and your puddle. This is actually the molted filler rod being magnetized to your puddle. This puddle, this spider web, it'll get thick or thin depending on how fast or how slow you feed your puddle. If you feed it too slow, it'll start to thin it out. As you can see here, that spider web, that molted metal is getting smaller. It's getting more thin. This means you need to start adding a little bit more filler rod to that puddle. If you don't, eventually this will happen. Your filler rod will completely detach from the puddle. Eventually your gap or keyhole will open up. Because not enough filler rod was being added to bridge the gap between the two bevels. You can see how the filler rod was moved from this part of the bevel to this one. This is called rod manipulation. You basically move your filler rod to whichever bevel needs more metal. After manipulating the rod, now we bring it back to the center. You can see that keyhole or widened gap went away. Once again here, that spider web between the filler rod and the puddle is getting thin and eventually completely detaches. Once again, you know what this means. It means we were not adding enough filler wire. So, our keyhole opening up is to be expected. And once again, you'll see how the rod gets manipulated up and down from bevel to bevel to fill in wherever more metal is needed. Every time you see that keyhole opening up, you can see that wire, that rod gets manipulated towards that bevel to fill it in. This process, this tug of war goes on over and over until you completely put in your root pass. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to check out the Weld Cartel for the best welding caps in the industry.